Hello, today is Thursday, the 20th of November, 2008, and the market closed. We had another uh, smashing here today. The uh, NASDAQ 100, the Qs, lost $1.30 or 4.8%, and uh, the, the selling is just relentless in this market. Um, you know, we, we had early this morning, we had a, a gap lower. The market made those lower highs and lower lows, and then it started to bounce in here, made a higher low in there. And I was uh, on Twitter, which which is the uh, uh, an online you know micro blogging type thing I guess they call it. Anyways, narrating some trades that I had done in here and where I thought the market had the potential to go up to, and uh, uh, that was about 27.50 is what I was saying because that was the prior support. It was the approximate location of uh, this uh, two-day VWAP as well. And we will look at the. Uh, 10 minute time frame you can see here that you know just as we saw a couple uh, you know yesterday that support broken tends to act as resistance uh, today we had seen that the support that had formed earlier in the week did act as a resistance level the sellers came out and then they just didn't stop right up till the bell the uh, market came right down to uh, daily s2 right at the end of the day that's not shown in here um, but we see that uh, you know the market tried to uh, move higher earlier and and I was getting long in there because that was the path of least resistance at that time. But later in the afternoon, it was just relentless selling pressure. And again, we closed right at these lows. Uh, the uh, NASDAQ, obviously, again, we've got a uh, declining five-day moving average. So as I've been saying, the market remains guilty till proven innocent until that can flatten out and then begin to start to turn higher a little bit. Uh, we remain in uh, probably the worst bear market that we will see in our lives, our lives I think. And, uh, you know, hopefully you're, you're, uh, you're, you're holding on and, and maybe making money in here. We've blown, obviously, past this prior uh, resistance level, which uh, is where the 2003, you know, bear bull really began to take hold in here. Uh, now we've got to look at uh, the, the, the lower levels, which are down near about that 23, and then the, uh, the lows from 2002, just at about 20 bucks a share. It seems like a far long ways away, uh, but uh, we saw the S&P 500 do it today. And if you take a look again at oil, oil continues to just defy uh, finding any potential support level, as I had pointed out yesterday, that we can look at these levels as potential areas where there might be buyers. But uh, until the market has actually found support there and we see that the sellers have stopped selling and the buyers come in and get aggressive, they're just potential levels of support. We only know support or resistance after the fact. Until uh, until that level is tested and the market bounces, it's just a potential level. And obviously, oil blew right through that on the downside today, losing another four per uh, you know three point eight percent so uh you know just trade according to what you see not what you think is you know down too much or up too much the people who are fighting the bull market in oil uh are, are probably now trying to pick a bottom in it and we're in a bear market here it's just tough if you're gonna trade to the long side you have to be extremely quick you have to be very disciplined and be trading smaller share size it's not the time to load up your account and think that you're gonna get the exact bottom the, the turns as, as we've seen can be spectacular when when they do begin to rally but uh, the, all these rallies have failed and you have to have a way to to capture those gains and uh you know, sell pieces into strength when you get the opportunity to do so. Uh, I had po posted the trades that I was narrating uh, in in that Twitter on the blog, so go ahead and take a look at that. But here we see the Russell 2000 now. Obviously, you know, it, it, it they come down a lot quicker than they go up, obviously, because the emotion of fear is much stronger than that of greed, and uh, we're seeing just a complete give up. And basically, the Russell 2000 is closing in on these uh, 2002 levels. That, that were really pretty extreme levels as well in here, but uh, looking realistic down at 32 and a half, that's only six points away, or another, I guess, a uh, little little bit less than uh, 20 percent. Uh, I I hope it doesn't happen, but uh, the path of least, least resistance remains lower. Uh, it would 
be nice to see this market turn around but you know when you see lower highs and lower lows like we're seeing in all these markets it remains guilty till proven innocent there is just no evidence that the buyers are coming in uh, with any significance in this market semiconductors we had seen yesterday uh, the, so we'd seen this group trade down to a 12-year low today the S&P 500 uh, came down to, to a 11-year uh, low as well but the uh, the semiconductors the this group uh, early on today they were one of the stronger groups as the market rallied and I was long the USD which is the double long uh, semi SMH basically but uh, you know you got to take those profits when the market gives them to you and uh, you know have a strategy for exiting because we'd seen the lower high and then we saw a lower low here and late in the day same thing as you know all these markets that we just you know basically when it when it got below that daily VWAP that's when we saw a real give up and you know nearly a dollar decline and that's you know obviously when we're getting down to these levels these are big uh, big percentage numbers that, that we're giving up the financials down another 10.7 percent today uh, year to date they're probably down more than 70 percent I'll post those numbers here shortly on the blog but uh, you know no signs of support whatsoever it's a complete uh crisis of confidence you see a, a stock like Citigroup down under five dollars a share and uh, you know big huge volume in here today big volume peaks at turning points however you know tomorrow's volume may might be even bigger than that big volume isn't a reason to buy because we had seen the biggest volume yesterday uh, now we've got much bigger volume obviously dwarfing yesterday's volume today so maybe tomorrow we see uh, you know another hundred uh, million shares added on top of that. It remains a very, very dangerous uh, stock. It remains a very dangerous market, and um, you have to play very strong defense. Obviously, the S and P 500 lost six dollars here on the SPY. The the prior low from uh, from from 2002, this low was 7707, and that was the intraday uh, low. We have obviously closed well below that at 7550. It seems as though we're getting that capitulation that complete give up we're at levels not seen since you know back in here since uh, early 1997 um, so it seems as though each day we get closer to that 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 level where we're going to see a massive rally uh, begin from but right now there just remains zero evidence that the buyers are showing up these markets are closing right on the lows once again prior support acting as a resistance it's 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 acting pretty rationally realistically when you look at the charts so I'm not saying about whether people are doing smart things with their money or not but if you what, what I'm talking about is looking at the way the money is moving in and out of this market you know prior support just classic technical analysis prior support acting as resistance these are all concepts that I wrote about in my book which I rarely mention in here but uh, Christmas is coming so order one for yourself or someone that you care about